the pattern we're going to tie today is my Bobby Bruce Minnow. Uh, I named it such because I was watching some Last Chance You on Netflix. And uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Bobby Bruce. Uh, most of the flies I make, their names come after what I was watching while I was tying them. So uh, this one is a Bobby Bruce Minnow. Uh, it's got a furled tail made out of monofilament. Uh, just I take a piece of 1x mono and um, I'll show you how I twist it up and it, it makes for a very nice stiff tail. Uh, you want to take a piece of mono and then double it back and that's about as long as your tail will be. So that's, a, that's good. Right there. And we cut. And we... We position. With these little tag ends here, I, I will uh, lock them in, and you can put a drop of super glue down to secure them even further. But we won't do that right now. Okay. Now we got to get our dubbing. So for this one, it's going to be a mix. Uh, we have a little bit of yellow and then we'll take a little bit of blue and then maybe some silver from this bag right here we'll take some silver and then we're going to mix these together just work them together a good mix. You don't necessarily want to be ripping the fibers, uh, but you want to be giving it a good mix. <laughs> All right. So that looks pretty good. Uh, now we want to take our mono and we're going to spin it. So you take a little bit of dubbing, place it in your loop, take a little bit that looks good. That looks good. Doesn't need to be perfect. That's okay, a little heavy on the back, but as you see, it won't matter soon. Now, we're going to spin. Spin, spin, spin. Spin, 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 spin. And you want to spin enough until the monofilament uh, furls at the end, so a little bit more, and there you go, see how that, there's that nice twist, too much and you'll snap it, so just an, enough, okay, so next we're going to pick out the excess, which is there, there is a lot of, and there should be a lot of, and then we'll, we'll pick it out more, um, when we twist it again. Alright. So here, and what we've made is essentially just a brush. Uh, a nice dubbing brush. But instead of wire, it's mono. And so now you want to take it in the halfway point and double it back. And then when you let it go, it'll just spin. Pew like so and you want to then uh, lock it 
into place with a couple wraps. And you're going to cut this. And secure. If it's a little bit sparse on the end here, you can you can double it back and then tie it down like this, uh, which I will do. All right. Uh, and then you want to pick it out. So with your bodkin or any tool, uh, just start picking it out. And uh, you're going to want to get rid of any loose fibers. Don't go in too deep because you don't want to damage that, that monofilament. But uh, pick it out nicely and you can work on that later. Um, but that is your tail, which is a good looking tail. And this tail will never foul around uh, the end of the, the hook bend, which uh, that's one of the reasons I like it. Alright, uh, you're going to want to do a second loop, and you can do this with either your thread or another piece of monofilament. Um, we will, today we will do it with our thread. So we'll make another, we'll advance the thread up the shank of the hook there, and we will make another dubbing loop. So we'll take an adequate amount out. Our, our loop will be about this long, and we will tie. You have to go under, and this will secure the loop, oops, and like this, and like that. All right, so uh, same with the, the same mix the yellow, the blue, and the silver. Uh, we're gonna start adding it into our loop, and we'll do the same thing we did with the mono. Uh, we'll start uh, tightening it with my trusty tightener. Where's my, uh, there's my trusty tightener. And we will tighten it up. Spin, 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 spin. out the excess then we can work on the rest later and we're going to give it some wraps here and you want to preen, preen it back so the fibers are facing forward uh, and then we can go one time under our tail that's good. And then here. Good. Good. Looks good so far. And we want to advance it about three quarters, maybe a little bit more up the shank of the hook and then we will stop and that's that's where we'll make the head of our of our bait fish and Oops. hitting the camera In. Uh, 
All right. Secure it down. Secure it down. Okay. Um, this is a good time to pick out your fibers in it. It'll pick out really nicely, actually. It'll be quite full. Um, just got to work it. 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 And this is a suitable time to use the, the rotary feature of your vise. So it's got a nice tapered effect for the body uh, down to the tail, which is what we want. All right, now we're going to do the the head. Usually, a bait fish has a, a little bit darker head and then a lighter under underbody. And so, uh, for our head, we will put in some some darker dubbing and we're going to we're going to tie it in and then we're going to push it back so tie it in with the the majority up front and then you can lock it down and this will be folded back and we'll, we'll put in put put on some uh, UV glue and that will be our head and to build it up a bit I'm going to take a, the last bit of that dubbing mix we made and we will add it in for our head like so Mm, looks good. All right. And the belly, we want a lighter color, so I'm going to take some silver and some, some pearl, and I'm going to mix these together, silver and pearl, and we'll make our, our belly out of silver and pearl. And it, you don't. You can use less material on the belly than on the the top of the head, which I recommend doing. You don't want too much material down near the hook. So do a couple of loose wraps, and then you you can shift uh, that material so it's nice and even center. I guess you could invert it as well, but it's too complicated for me. Uh, lock that down, lock it down, lock it down, lock it down, lock it down. All right, so here we go. Looks good so far. And now we want to separate the head from the tail, so we'll fold that back up. And then we'll take our tail or our belly rather and we will fold that back down and build up a little bit of a head dam just to to keep everything back that should be good all right now we will whip finish this I'll try not to knock the camera Tying on camera is a little bit difficult for me. So we'll whip finish. What the heck? What the heck? We'll go ahead and whip finish. 
finish this one time. Not too many. Three should be fine. Because we are going to add a ton of glue. Okay. So now our fly is looking, looking okay, looking okay. Uh, we are going to add some UV glue. UV glue really, I think, is a game changer in terms of fly tying. You can do so much with it. So, this is the basic shape we're, we're going to go after. Uh, I like to use toothpicks uh, because they're disposable and uh, the glue gets gummy on them. Um, so we'll get our glue. And we will add a small drop on the top. And this takes some practice. And then we can add a small drop on the sides. Like so. Like so. And we'll take our toothpick, and you're just going to want to roll it so it kind of gets into the, into the fibers and creates a base to secure the next round of glue. So just roll it, roll it, cover your thread, looks good. Looks good, looks good, looking good. Roll it. Alright. So you're going to hit this with your light. And you're, you're going to want to kind of push everything back to where you, you want it. And then hit it with your light. And essentially it should... Uh, lock them all into place. Yeah, it's already getting harder. And a little bit more. All right. Uh, and then I, this is, would be your choice though, I kind of like to press it. Um, I think it, it gives it better action uh, when, you, when you fish the bait. So what I do is I, I press that down because uh, we're going to add some eyeballs. So with our eyeballs, good, good color for our eyeball. Um, I think... Yeah, it's a good size. Good size right there. So we'll take a little bit more of our glue and put a, a drop there. A drop on the other side right there. And we will take our eyeball and try not to mess this up too badly. So we'll just place one eyeball down, like so. And then we will place the other eyeball, like so. And with the, the dry end of the toothpick you had, you can adjust them to where you want them. And it's only aesthetic, but you, you want them a little kind of even. And this one can go up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We're going to hit this again with our light to, to help that dry. Let's move this one back a bit there. Hit it with your light. Hit it with your light. And now we will press it together. And you're 
almost done here. Um, uh, you can add a little bit more glue and then cover your eyeballs and to just finish it off. A little bit more glue on top. And with this glue, you can roll it down a bit, covering the top, and then you can apply it to the bottom as well. Let's add a little bit more to the bottom. A little bit more to the bottom. And you, you want to get those edges so it will harden into the edges. That looks pretty even. I'm, I'm satisfied. Alright. And hit it with the light. Hit it with the light. Hit it with the light. I don't really know how long you hit it for, but until... Uh, if you don't hit it long enough, it'll get tacky. And I usually, if you don't, if you want it to look better, don't touch it. Let it sit and dry, or uh, let it sit in the sun. Um, and I think that's good. Okay, so we will release it here. Hopefully, maybe. Ugh. Uh, and that is our our dubbing minnow, and you can see the construction. You got the the tail, the body, the head, and it, it, this one will swim nicely. Uh, it's a good, just a good little pattern. And I use this to fish for bass mainly, but it'll catch anything. I caught some barramundi on this kind of fly in uh, Malaysia. That was pretty cool. Peacock bass too. All right. Thank you for watching.